weed and it today's topic is gonna be when she pulls away bro first hit that like button take one second to do but it make all the difference bro anyway that being said i'm gonna get straight to it let's go like bro a lot of guys don't realize that when a woman pull away it's indicative of what they're doing bro it's indicative of what you doing Everybody want to blame women, blame women, blame women. But it's certain, like, areas of this whole thing that we got to take responsibility on ourselves, bro. And that's the honest truth. A lot of guys don't want to hear that, bro. Nine out of ten, she pulled away because you was being needy. She pulled away because you was hopping on her bumpers. You was hitting her up first all the time. Guys don't watch the way they be pursuing women. Guys don't watch the way they be reaching out to women and everything. And that can make all the difference. You guys don't realize when she don't want to be bothered with you, they keep on, like, she pull away and they keep chasing and chasing and chasing. And that just calls her to pull away more, bro, at the end of the day. And guys don't realize that they doing this. Guys don't realize that they, like, subtly saying, hey, I'm jealous back with some of their actions and everything. Guys don't realize that, you know what I mean? They going and doing things that's really turning her off bro they don't realize that guys don't know how to have self-worth in themselves when you really think about it when it when in a confines of a relationship or when you date a woman or however you gonna do it like guys don't know how to do that they don't know how to create an atmosphere where they on the pedestal they're the prize because they put women on the pedestal and they don't even realize they put women on the pedestal bro that's the crazy part a lot of the times, guys don't realize when they put women on a pedestal because they could take in all this red pill information from everybody they get red pill information from, but you don't realize, like, yo, I'm putting her on a pedestal in a subtle way. Still. Bro, you doing all of this, you getting all this information to impress this girl. That's chasing her, bro. You trying to figure out how to get this one girl, and that's that's the truth in most cases. You trying to figure out how to get this one girl. You chasing her, bro, at the end of the day. It's good that you learning, but you chasing her at the end of the day. Because the way you see it, you want to use this to somehow turn around a dynamic where a woman pulled away from you or whatever. When the reality is, what you should do is absolutely nothing, bro. You want to know what becomes... You want to know the quickest way to get somebody attention, dog. The quickest way to get somebody's attention is to remove yours, bro. Don't nobody want to believe that. People want to sell you this bullshit like you got to do this grand thing or this, this over-the-top thing in order to get a woman or that's going to reattract her, bro. But essentially, it ain't going to do nothing for you, bro. Like, honestly, let's think about it. A lot of y'all guys, I know y'all can relate to this. You ever bought a woman something or got went and did something for her that was putting you out of your way or doing the most, in most cases is doing the most, or doing the most, and then you still didn't get the result out of her that you wanted from her when it was all said and done? That's because at the end of the day, you can't trade gifts and money for love, bro. You can't trade gifts and money for her being attracted to you. That that ain't how that work, dog. That's just not how it works. Anybody who tell you that's how it works, they're wrong. Now, granted, hypergamy exists, and that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. Hypergamy exists, but that's still not trading money for love, bro. You just create an initial attraction in a woman. You just create an initial interest, bro, because you still got to have game at the end of the day. So when a woman pull away, it's realizing that, hey, I should do absolutely nothing until this woman reach back out to me. And when she reached back out to me, I have to essentially punish her. That don't mean be a dick to her. That don't mean none of that. But I have to essentially punish her by making her do something for me. As So as to say, yo, A, if you leave, I'm not chasing you. You can leave out the door if you want to. And B, when you come back, I'm not just going to be somebody you can leave and come back to whenever you want to. Like, that's dead. That's over with, bro. So you got to have that kind of like 
Self-love, bro. Self-care. Well, you say to yourself, yo, I'm not taking no bullshit from her. I'm going to do what I got to do and focus on me, right? When these women pull away, two-thirds of the dudes out here, they go straight to super chasing, bro. Like, I'm talking about chasing harder than they ever was. Like, you could have had this girl in the bag. Her attraction level could have been an eight. She just got bored of you for a couple days, bro. Women get bored easy. She just got bored of you for a couple days. And now here you go chasing her up. How you doing? Good morning. Uh, what can I get you? Are you mad at me? That's female behavior, dog. Females do that. When females get unsure, they reach out. They do stuff like that because they're unsure about their emotions, bro. They're unsure about your feelings and how you feel about them. So guess what? You doing female stuff when you turn around and you get unsure and you start blowing her line down trying to figure out where you stand with her, bro. That, that's not a male quality at all. That's not alpha at all. And I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't really like all these hot terms, bro. I use them just because, you know what I mean? They, they, they're they understandable. I don't really like all the hot terms. But at the end of the day, female attraction is a real simple thing once you cross that hill of understanding it, bro. It really is. It's just a who chase who dynamic. It really is. It's just a masculine energy and feminine energy dynamic. Understanding masculine energy and feminine energy. I got a video on that. Go look at understanding masculine energy and fem feminine energy, bro. It's really that simple. So I'm in the video right there, bro. When she pull away, bro, don't do anything. Don't do nothing. Like, just let her go. Give her time to come back to you. And when she come back to you, find something to make her do. Make her cook you dinner. Or make her come to your crib with a bottle of wine or something. Make her... Shit, make her go to the store and buy some goddamn pop, soda, whatever you call it. Make her go do that and bring it to you. Like, make her do something to make up for the fact that she pulled away so that she understand that when she pull away, she gonna have to work to get you back, bro. That's it. And if she working to get you back, that means she chasing you. It's that simple. That's the dynamic you got. That, like, it's that simple changing around the dynamic. And then you just keep her in that role. That's it. That's what you do when she pull away. That being said, it's your boy Kaden. Alpha Nerd. Make sure you like. If, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Comment below what you want to see next. Et cetera, et cetera. It's your boy Kaden Alpha Nerd. I'm out of here.